Welcome to World Breaker Cool Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Cool, and welcome to my Marvel Legends End of the Year wrap up. I have several Marvel Legends left that I have not had time to review. So in order to review these all and save some time so I can hit the end of the year running, I'm going to put a smorgasbord of Marvel Legends in here. Uh, these five here to include uh, Frogman, Zombie Cap, Invisible Woman, and that's it. Okay, so that's the, all the Marvel Legends with, with the exception of one large one, which we'll do another day. But right now, let's start with uh, Miles. This guy, I'm not going to be very specific on uh, all the articulation, but let's just say, oops, let's just say it's great. It's got great articulation on it. Um, I love the deco and the uh, sculpt. You can see he's got raised proportions here, which look awesome. This is, in my opinion, the best Miles we've ever had. I like this Miles a lot as well, um, but this Marvel Legends Miles is much better. Uh, than the old one, but they're different versions. This one's the kid when he first came out. This one looks like the college student from the game. But you can put them in both displays. Now, he is not better than that Miles. That's my favorite Miles. But he is the best Marvel Legends by uh, a, a long shot, okay? And, as you can see, he comes with his Venom Blast, okay? Which I like. Some people say the hands look too big. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I don't get it. Um, he comes with all those accessories there. To include this head, which is kind of similar to the head we got years ago from the Small Miles. He's got wide hands, whipping hands, fist, um, and uh, another extra Venom Blast. So, I think that's great. Out of 10, I honestly uh, must say I give him a full 10. I mean, he's got the articulation. He's got the sculpt. He's got the accessories. I mean, there's not much more you can ask for. Maybe web um, and... If you got one Spider-Man, you probably got enough by now. So, 10 out of 10 for him. Let's move on to the next one. Um, let's go with, actually, um, the Spider-Man 2099, okay? This guy is awesome, okay? It's awesome. You watch wrestling. Um, he's got the claws. I wish he was on a different buck. Um, he does come with an assortment of hands. He's got um, some wide hands, some punch hands, and some clawed hands. Um... I like the webbing effect. He is just a re-release of what they've had before, but they've added just extra deco, which I do think looks fantastic on him. Um, love that, love that, love that. So I would have to give him, uh, now, now he is limited because he is an older figure um, and some of his joints are a little bit, not gummy, but kind of get stuck. So that's a bit of a problem. But other than that, I like the paint job and it's fairly clean. So I'd give him a solid Eight. I think he's a must-have if you don't have that version of Spider-Man. Let's move on. Next, we have Morlin, and this is an interesting figure. Um, in some ways, I regret buying him. In other ways, I don't because he is an essential Spider-Man villain, but he just never was that cool to me. He's kind of like a vampire. He travels different dimensions with his family because that's what they do, you know, and he drains them uh, and eats them, basically. It's kind of morbid. Um, there was a story with other with him, but let's not spend time talking about that. Let's talk about the figure. Um, it's okay. Um, it feels wrong. Like, I feel like they use, I don't know, like the buck feels like he should be a little bit wider in the chest. I feel like he should be just a little bit taller as well. Um, the face is not bad. Um, it's not perfect. He, they do give you two hits. You know, so that's not bad. Maybe I use switch heads. I think that's what's throwing it off for me. But um, all in all, he's just an okay figure because he's got limited articulation. That's what makes it not as fun because these suited bodies just unfortunately have never had great articulation. Um, they're they're okay. They're okay, but it feels like it's just a little bit limited. And then with this heavy overlay there, it doesn't really crunch much. So. There's that, and he can't really kick forward. As, as, he's not as dynamic as he should be. The guy can kick Spider-Man's butt, so you'd think he'd be a little bit more dynamic and that'd give you some fist hands since he punched you know, Spider-Man pretty hard. 
They ripped up his eyeball. Maybe they should give you an eyeball accessory. That would have been over the top, which they would never do. But I would give him a 7 out of 10. He's not a must unless you are just collecting an assortment of Spider-Man's important rogue galleries. Uh, speaking of important rogue galleries characters, uh, Frogman. Frogman is a, was a hit at the beginning of the year. I passed on him for months until I built Stiltman, which reminds me I forgot to build bring Stiltman in the equation. Maybe I'll review him last in the, one of my other videos. But Stiltman him, by himself is actually a really fun figure. I love the deco. Um, I see why people like this thing so much. It's using that uh, Dr. Octopus body, and it's just a lot of fun to mess with. Um, this is one of the toys that uh, I use when I'm playing with my son, and you know he's he he just does silly stuff. I don't really lose sleep over this guy. I think if you want him, if if Frogman is your jam, then it's probably like a nine. If he's not your jam, it's a solid eight figure. Okay, it's not much. He comes with some wide hands, but the fist hands do it for me. He's he's, he's a decent guy. So there's that. Now let's talk about Shriek. Shriek, Shriek, Shriek. She does come with um, this, the wide hand and this little bracelet accessory, which is actually hers. Um, she comes with two graspy hands, which I'm not sure what she's doing with those graspy hands. Maybe Carnage knows. I don't know. Maybe. And she comes with two fisted hands. And I love that she's not asymmetrical. She's not symmetrical. She's asymmetrical. So if you look at her wrist here, she has some blacks up there. But on this hand over there, she does not have that. And that's like it's the same way with all her hands. Some of the hands, like this one has the black stuff, this one doesn't. That's awesome. She is a mutant and she's like uh Carnage's boo, you know? And she's she's got double arm articulation. Look at that. She is quite possibly my favorite female figure this year, even over Captain Marvel, because it's just her proportions are so well done and the articulation's fun. Plus, she doesn't have those stupid, goofy feet that Captain Marvel does, and pinless, pinless, man, it's just nice to mess with, okay, and I'm wasting time again, which I said I was not going to do, so I'll stop trying to bend her joints, I, need, I might have to heat her up a bit, because her knee's not bending like it was earlier, oh my goodness, I think I'm seeing a stress crack, one second, okay, no stress crack, but you might want to be careful, warm her up, I had to warm up quite a bit before, and it seems like I need to do the same thing with her knees now, especially down there because I can't get the lower half of her leg to bend. So, but she's a great figure. I think if I had to rate her out of 10, I would give her a nine and a half. She's just great for what she's representing. So yeah, Shriek. Um, now let's move on to uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Um, yeah, this is the second one I've gotten now. One's movie, one's not. He comes with two heads, which is nice. And they did a great job on the faces. You've seen No Way Home, you know, no spoilers, but he played a great role in No, no Way Home. He was he was good. Like the open hands, those are accessories I'll be using with other characters. Um, I saw Bug Nice doing some push-ups with his, and I was like, that's awesome. Um, and if you're wondering how he compares to his comic book counterpart, that is nice. That is nice. And something I've not seen other people do is you can switch the hands. Now tell me, this isn't nice. This is nice. I've seen this, this look more like in the Ultimate Universe, and this more look more in the first, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in the first Spider-Man movie. So that's freaking awesome. The skin colors actually do fairly well too. So I dig this. Great job. I would give uh, Jonah because he's a fun character and his he's got double jointed elbows. If you look, look at that. That's nice. I think that's the first suited figure that has double jointed elbows, I believe. Well, no, they all have it, but this, this figure's just ha it just works really well because they're skinnier. So let's move to the last figure and keep it moving. Oh, and I'm sorry, I have to I forgot to rate him. I would give him a, an eight point five. I mean, there's not much else you can do with these suited figures. They never gonna get a ten for me, but that's close as probably as you're gonna get because he's a fun figure. Glad I got him. Um, then we have. Um, Zombie cap and what you see is what you get. This figure is freaking phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that scope, that deco. Who never thought we'd get something like this from Marvel Legends? Um, straight out of the, the, the show. Um, I think it's wonderful. Look at that leg, the foot. Oh, that's great. 
looks so nasty, which means it's so awesome. So, yeah, I think it's definitely up there for one of the best Marvel Legends of the year. I would give this guy um, a 10 out of 10. He's just that good. He's very good. I don't know what else more you could want from him, um, to be honest with you. Unless you just want more good and blood. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Um, last figure for real. Last figure for real is a newer figure, and she just came in not too long ago. She comes with invisible hands, and she is right here, the invisible woman. Um, you can see her joints on the inside, which is to be expected, but she's nice. I didn't get the ugly one because I didn't want that face haunting me, but this one right here, I will get. I'm not getting the rest of the set because I already got two teams of Fantastic Four. But I will get this one because we don't have a full Invisible Sue Storm. And I did get the um, Reed Richards because I want my Council of Reeds. So that's why I'm doing that. But other than that, um, yeah, she looks she looks good. She looks good. Let me look at her, her costume. But her face looks really good because it's all see-through. Unlike uh, the one in person that's the thing of nightmares. And she comes with this same effect that the last Invisible Woman had. But I would have to give her a a a eight point five out of ten because it's it's what you always wanted. I just wish we would have had a different accessory than this. Give us a big bubble or something. That would have been awesome. But thank you for watching this review. I know there was a lot of figures here. Thank you for staying with me. And uh, hey, if you like what I do, you know, like hit that, click that like and subscribe button. Until next time, peace and Marvel Legends, Greece.